Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with SBR contributor Dave Golikov and today we're going to be looking at that NBA game between the Miami Heat and the Washington Wizards. How are you doing today Dave? I'm doing good. What's happening? All right so with the return of Dwayne Wade to the lineup Miami looked a lot better than what they had in a while but besides having him back on the court what other factors um, can benefit the Heat in this matchup against the Wizards Dave? Well, the Heat have uh, they have experience on their side, of course. Uh, good coach in Eric Spolstra, um, and they're used to grinding out these types of games, which it probably figures to be tonight. You know, low scoring, uh, defensive, ugly. Uh, that's really what the Heat have going for it. And you know, they got way back in the lineup. That really makes the lives of everybody on that team that much easier. You add in, uh, you know, Wade and Bosch. You got two dynamic players. And uh, going up against the Wizards, who are sometimes hit or miss, that might be enough. All right, man, but the Wizards come into this game with a healthy 10-5 and straight-up record thanks to a steady defensive effort. But you also indicated that they're, they're, the most of their wins are coming in a very close manner. Now, can you elaborate a bit on that subject and what we can expect to see from the Wizards in this occasion, man? Yeah, I mean, I personally think, and this is somewhat subjective, but I think the, the Wizards have taken a small step forward after... Uh, you know, going to the second round of the playoffs last year. Young team, getting better, and uh, I've liked what I've seen from them in the early goings. Yeah, a lot of tough, uh, sort of non-impressive wins in terms of the margin, but that's what this uh, Wizards team does under Randy Whitman. They're a good defensive team. Um, you know, that's their sort of calling card. And uh, on the offensive end, it's not always pretty, but, uh, you know, they got Bradley Beal back in the lineup a couple weeks ago, and they're starting to gel and starting to get a little bit better. So I like this Wizards team. Um, I know that, uh, again, some of the margins of victory haven't been fantastic, but I think this is a team that's improving and is uh, definitely getting better in the Eastern Conference. All right, now, when I last checked, uh, there wasn't a line available for this one, and it seems like it could be opening as a pick em, or even two, two and a half points in favor of Washington, which brings us to the pick, man. I believe that this game, um, I mean, do you believe it's going to be uh, as close as you said in your article? And with that in mind, I mean, where should we actually put our money in this one? I like the Wizards in this spot. You got a Miami team that's, uh, you know, they're on a back-to-back -back situation for starters. Played last night on the road in New York. Now quick turnaround. Got to go on the road to Washington. Not the toughest trek, I know, uh, especially since Miami was off most of last week. But still, back-to-back -back situations on the road. Dwayne Wade, that guy's a little bit bulky, so you never know uh, how he's going to look. The other factor is the Wizards, or pardon me, the Heat are not a great offensive team. And you take a look at what happened last night, just 86 points against the Knicks. Now they're on the road again. Now they're facing a much better team overall and more specifically a better defensive team. I don't think that bodes so well for the Heat. So you got the Wizards here at home at a pick. Uh, I think they get the job done here. All right, Dave, thanks once again for all the valuable insights, man. And we'll talk some more basketball again tomorrow. All right. Good stuff. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.